Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have Hey yo man, we got um uh <laughs> yo, we got your favorite artist on deck, man. You know what I mean? Uh we also got uh Pooh Shiesty talking about he's a changed man. We, we got Kodak Black <laughs> like making everybody go crazy and we got whack 100 on deck again thanks for tuning in to celeb source hey yo if this is your first time to the channel man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content we definitely appreciate that that subscribe button ain't gonna tap itself so go on and give it a tap and hit that notification bell so you can be in line i almost said on deck but i almost say in deck whatever online you know what it is man so so you, so you can get the jump when the drop okay so you can get the jump when the drop check this out man uh, what you gonna get for Christmas, man? Like, 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 what's on your Christmas list, man? Post that joint in the comments below. Like, post your number one gift in the comment section, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just curious. See what's out there, what people be wanting, man. You know what I mean? You're like, what you want? I know what I want, but I, I want to know what you want. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about what I want later. Look, check this out, man. Let me throw this Molotov cocktail into the crowd and dip real quick. Kodak Black is on a barbecue grill once again because he allowed a grown woman to twerk on his son at a party. Uh, baby shower okay the, the child looked wildly excited all right was it illegal i don't think so was it psychologically or age appropriate i don't think so look here's a question man how many damaged people are in that picture with kodak black his son and the woman how many damaged people are in that picture because i see three i mean what possesses a woman to twerk on a, on a child Maybe, maybe she was really twerking in front of him and he pulled the child in front of the boot, the butt. Like, I could see it playing out like that. I can't possibly see a woman like, I'm going to twerk on this seven-year-old. I can't possibly see it happen. Although, I know many people will show up in the comments like, I know a lot of women that would do that. You need to change your crowd. Sh straight up, okay? Here's the thing. Kodak may have put a ring on his lady at the baby shower, but all of that is now overshadowed by this other thing that took place at the baby shower. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, take a look at this video of uh, Kodak gifting this lady with a ring. Take a look. Yo, um, uh, so, so, you know, but, but can't nobody see that because they only see the pic of the lady twerking. Check this out, Gilly the King. The man was an extraordinary ghostwriter and an excellent rapper. I, I love the fact that he was like, yeah, I love to ghostwrite because I don't gotta be running around doing all these shows and all this other stuff and I'm still getting paid. I was like, salute for that, okay? Look, shout out to Philly. One thing Philly consistently produces are excellent rap artists. You see what I'm saying? N nevertheless, Gilly had been enjoying his life as a podcaster, you know, like million dollars worth of game, right? Which I find to be low key hilarious. Gilly's worst nightmare though may have come true see whack 100 has bought out gilly's contract take a listen to whack 100 putting gilly on notice that he may have to report to work and hey, yo take a listen i'm with e1 no i had no album deal with e1 i had a single deal bullshit <laughs> <laughs> i seen the advance they gave you and everything <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was a, hey, hey, and it was some goddamn petties, nigga, fuckers, you talking Yeah, about. that ain't my fault, that's why I brought it out. <laughs> it was petties on the dollar, fuckers, you talking about. <laughs> That's why I brought it out. Hey, hey, nigga, one thing about me, nigga, I'm a contract listen, okay. killer, nigga. Yo, What's listen to me, bro. Matter of fact, do you want to record in Philly or LA? He's coming to Atlanta to record, nigga. Hey, you, hey, hey, one thing about it, they want me to put an album out. They see all we and listen, off that shit. Listen, I ain't no features from Meek Mills. That's out, bro. You crazy as shit, nigga. Meek on my single, nigga. <laughs> nah, that's out. Wallow, I take Wallow, I take Lil Uzi. Man, no, I ain't put Wallow on my fucking shit. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna hey, bring, bro. Hey, Gilly, I'm gonna promote you. Gonna go put cash you money. Money. you is gonna drop the album, you know, Gilly. Now, listen. Hey, you know what that reminds me of, man? The source. What does that remind me of, real quick? You see, if I could just get that office space scene redone, I mean, with Whack 100 as the boss and Gilly the kid trying to sneak out of work. Like, what, what if, right? What if you went to work on Monday and found out that your supervisor was replaced with Whack 100? You see what I'm saying? Like, like, so you quit and you find yourself another job and after about a week, that supervisor was replaced by Whack 100. 
I, I can hear the ladies like, I was just trying to get a date with OJ. Ma'am, ma'am, don't do that, okay? Look, what if Wack 100 was the best supervisor you ever had, man? Evicting people from your premises with a heavy hand, beating up racist bastards that disrespect you at the counter. You see what I'm saying? Letting people know when you call the cops that you are merely a civilian and as a result, you don't qualify for snitch status. Saving you from the angry mob gathered outside your home with pitchforks and torches like your Shrek. I know I'll be taking stuff to the edge, man. You see what I'm saying? Look, if you give me the if you give me the ball, I'ma run with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, this is basketball, fam. That's traveling. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay? Soon as I get the ball, I'm running with it. Alright? <sighs> um, anyway, look, check this out. What, 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 what my time looking like? Alright, look. We might be fast today. Check this out, man. Um, the night that Drake go the ruler. Yeah, you know, I was about to say, you know. The night that Draco, the ruler, was murdered, apparently, Wack 100 was getting into it with some other folks, man. I mean, throwing the fist of cuffs in the whole nine, y'all. Look, I don't know. Look, I don't know what Wack, man. Like, I can't read him very well. You see, like, some people I just can't read. Rick, Rick Ross, I can't read him well, all right? I can't read Wack 100. He's often found joking with folks. And then he's at a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? The celebrity looks at him. He breaks the celebrity's jaw. Talk about, you was flirting with my wife. Celebrity's wife is like, he was talking with me. You see what I'm saying? He, like, he doesn't even know who you are, whack, right? And, and and the man consequently had to get his jaw wired shut. So to me, right, whack 100 is hard to read. Nevertheless, whack 100 paid respects to Draco the Ruler on Instagram, talking about, quote, this one ain't easy. Draco the Ruler, um, a very intelligent, helpful, cocky, innovative outspoken brothers keeper just to name a few we shook hands uh risking the trust knowing our ties could conflict but we were man enough to keep our bond isolated you told me unc if and when i go i'm going out fighting like a man you had one request of me if these times ever came i'll see you on the other side i'll tend to that business and keep a line to your seeds uh, hashtag uh, rest up easy warrior you see what I'm saying um, you know that's that's what he said okay let me ask you this question though. Uh, the hell's outside like the pandemic had you locked in right but what exactly about being locked in drove you crazy man did you go cra did you go crazy because maybe like maybe you loved it you know what I mean like me personally I love I like I loved it you know what I'm saying like because uh, I don't really like to be outside I'm on I'm on you know what I mean? I like to stay indoors anyway, man. I don't like to give everybody access to it. You know what I'm saying? All, all, all of what I am. You see what I'm saying? You, you know what it is, man. Proverbs 25, man. Withdraw your foot from your neighbor's house so they don't get tired of you and begin to hate you. You see what I'm saying? You're like, then why you post every day? Because, because, never mind all that. Look, my bad. Yeah, you know, I, I might be on one today. Um, Matter of fact, let me do my shout outs real quick. Maybe, that, maybe that'll calm me down. Where we at here, man? Do, do we have any shout outs for today? I know we did. Uh, all right, check this out. Shout out to uh, my boy, Area Boy. You know what I'm saying? Area Boy said, yo, yo, bro, I don't know if anyone told you yet, but have a happy holiday. Have a blessed year, man. I hope nothing but the best for you and yours, and may your channel continue to grow with that Haitian love. You know what I'm saying? And that 100. Hey, yo, man, shout out to you, Area Boy. You always holding us down, man. We appreciate you, fam. Real talk. You see what I'm saying? My, yo, my man was like, yo, if you come into Hawaii, man, you know, you, you can rest up over here. I got you on that, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't playing. Like, when I go to Hawaii, I'm really going to be looking for you, fam. All right? Um... Yo, shout out to my boy Crown Me November. Last time we did the little hip hop battle where y'all was submitting y'all on what you going call it, man. It's cause of Crown Me November, man. His joint was hot. You know what I mean? So um you see his pick again, man. Click on that joint. Go check his videos out, man. Give him a like and all that good stuff. Cause he got some good music, man. So you know, like Crown Me November inspired me to do that. I might do it again. Last time I screwed it up though, because I wanted to pitch y'all all against each other, but then time continued to progress. And and you know the earth is spinning faster than it was, like, you know what I'm saying? Like last year, right? Oh, you don't know about that? You need to look that up. Anyway, shout out to Crown Me November. I love you, bro. You know what I mean? Um, Thomas McDowell said, you need to get straight to the point and stop trying to stretch your story out. I'm like, yo, don't tell me what to do, man. You see what I'm saying? I hate when people come on. How, how the hell are you going to go to somebody's channel and then tell them how to run their damn channel, man? Get the hell out of here. Thomas McDowell. And your pick, good. Oh, let me not even go on the pick. Uh, Yaze, 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 right? Uh, my man said, why, Yaze? My man said, yo, so let me God send you many blessings. Uh, a lot of wisdom in every video that y'all make. I watch y'all every day, like every day. You know what I mean? I couldn't start my day off without the celeb social. We appreciate you for that, man. Those of y'all that be coming through on a daily basis, we definitely appreciate it. It means a lot. And, 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 um, 
Uh, lastly, lastly, right? Uh, somebody said, yo, somebody said, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get your point about Jay Z probably not accepting challenges and all, but let's not get crazy here. Jay Z would vaporize T.I. with all due respect. I don't think I can agree with that. Okay? A lot of people sleep on T.I. for some strange reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because he's light skinned. I don't know why. Okay? T.I. is a, like, he, that man, remember, versus first of all your name is jt so i know you already got a, a bent towards jay-z i get it okay here's the other thing though um ti like versus battles are about hits it's about hits not i don't think it's about like lyricism lyricism that's a different thing you see what i'm saying so like for me lyricism nas would slay jay-z lyrically you know what i mean but when we're talking about hits that's a different category all right ti got hits for days like ti is not playing when, when i first thought about the verse i thought it was about lyricism but when you think about hits ti got hits man don't don't sleep on ti though real talk you see what i'm saying although he made everybody mad with the king of the south thing but whatever check this out man pooh shiesty um the man is currently locked up for all types of antics and shenanigans and the man is currently facing 40 years in the slammer that's right i had to slam slam the, the dashboard or whatever the hell this thing is because 40 years is a long time man if that man is 27 he will be 67 if that man is 20 how old is pooh let me take a look real quick man pooh right what's your age big dog pooh your age pooh is uh 22 years old if he get 40 years it'll be 62 years old my gosh you see what i'm saying like do you know what you'll feel like at 62 <sighs> crime don't pay for him Check this out. The artist stated, quote, my skin glowing since I've been sober. Can't go back to sipping lean. My mindset got different. I'm in prison before I'm sentenced. They don't even know the life that I'm living. They trying to paint the pick of a menace. Wait, I think he tried to rhyme. I'm in prison before I'm sentenced. They don't even know the life that they, well, whatever. Okay. He's a, he, they saying, he, he said like, they're trying to paint the pick that I'm a menace. Look, man. They, look, these, they, these people don't really be supporting these artists like they be fronting like they do. You see what I'm saying? Just because they gave you a chain does not mean they support you. You see what I'm saying? That's not a clap at anybody. I'm just, I'm talking about labels in general. Listen, okay? Having somebody speak on their behalf, advising them, like, nah, 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 don't say that. Don't say, no, 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 say it like this, say it like this. I, I think that's what, that, that would tell me like somebody's in somebody's corner. What I truly hate about situations like with Pooh Shiesty, is that um like these artists have so much potential right and seeing them waste that joint through fear or greed there's a there's a reason why the 10th commandment is an actual commandment don't be greedy simple right you like you like what the hell's covetousness greed don't be greedy okay the the most of the problems on our planet are a direct result of greed and fear in fact fear fosters greed the most high knows human DNA. Violation of the 10th commandment is the reason for most of the problems on the planet. I want you to consider that. Every single problem that we have is the result of greed. You see what I'm saying? That's why the scriptures say, man, the love of money is the root of all evil. So we cannot get, don't get it twisted. Don't let music fool you, okay? The love of money is the root of all evil. Greed for money you see what i'm saying you're like i ain't come here for all that oh i know what you came here for so let me get right to it so and finally your favorite artist look pe people talk like they hate this dude man but his shows there's a lot of people at his show. there's a lot of people singing the man so look at this clip real quick of your favorite artist performing take a look real quick take a look Look, there's a lot of people singing this song, man. They they like it. There I say, they love him. Look, I know you don't want to talk about it, right? But he gets more love than you. 
<laughs> you like celeb. He gets more love than you. Whatever. Okay. Look, the difference is I don't care. Look, I'll tell you who don't love the man. Venue promoters. Okay. Six Nine was set to perform at the Humble Civic Center in Houston. This was back in June, right? The promotion company JJD Entertainment filed a lawsuit stating that Six Nine showed up, took the cash, and left before performing. Surprise, surprise. I know. Uh, look, the, the dude that operates JJ, JJD Entertainment stated, he said, um, he spoke with one of Six Nine's reps and quote, the deal had Takashi being paid 45K upon execution of the paperwork and another 75K in cash on a day of the event. What's that? 45, 75? Who, what's the number? 5, 10, 0, carry to 1, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. 1, 12. I don't know. I don't know what the number is. I don't know what the number is. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One, who knows? Do the math for me, okay? Because I can't do it on the fly. Uh, he was able to be paid 20k for a jet from Boca Raton to Texas. Okay, in the suit, the promoter says he paid Takashi 45k, booked the private jet at a, the cost of 28k. So what is that? 73k, I think. Right? He says the rapper's team kept renegotiating the deal, which ended up costing him an additional 100k. They came to an agreement. He made it to the venue. He was paid 75k. He left. Now, according to 6ix9ine, he was supposed to be paid 250k, but the promoter's like, I don't know what he's talking about. You see what I'm saying? So they still doing the whole back and forth about that whole joint. You see what I'm saying? And you let us know what you think. Um, do you believe 6ix9ine that he was supposed to get paid the 250 ahead of time, but then he defaulted on the joint? Or do you believe the the, the venue promoter? Are you surprised that uh, uh, T not Ti um, 6ix9ine has so many people at his shows, man? I mean, his shows look crazy. You see what I'm saying? Um, yo, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below, man. What Bad Wild's talking about, the people with the COVID-19, man. What's your, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, what you get for Christmas, man? What you want for Christmas? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.